Jordi here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. The vertical video is the future and if you're hoovering that dislike button right now, please don't click it. You know, almost 70% of who's watching this video right now does that on a phone and that will even grow more in the future. Does that mean that we should stop filming horizontal? Of course not. The way I see it is that there are two ways of watching or consuming a video. One is where you make time to watch a film. You go to the theater, hit the full screen button on your laptop, or even make the effort to turn your phone around in a comfortable environment. And then there's the I want to consume as much as possible way of watching video. You flip through the Facebook feed, Instagram stories, Snapchat or whatever, and you only pause your thumb scrolling or swiping when something got your attention. The last thing you want to do is make an effort to flip your phone around. So whether you like it or not, vertical video has a big future. Facebook is even favoring vertical video and Instagram stories don't even work with horizontal content. Now we've got some great tips for you guys when it comes down to shooting vertical. But first I would like to thank Videoblocks for sponsoring this episode. Videoblocks is a huge library of stock footage, visual effects, title templates and a lot more. With a single price per year you can download as much as you want from their growing library. If you follow the first link in the description below, you can even take advantage of a huge discount or even start a 7 day trial completely for free. Now what does vertical video means for us as filmmakers, where we do want people to take time to watch our videos? Well, I see it as a creative challenge, where we are used to creating lots of space in our shots, adding depth through foreground objects in the sites, we are now forced to think different. I've actually seen some amazing video clips, Instagram stories and short films that were shot vertically and gave a great film experience. There's even a vertical film festival, so even cinematographers are jumping on this trend. So how can we take the best out of our vertical videos? Well, let's start with the equipment. If you're used to filming with bigger cameras or on a rig, try to find a way to adjust your rig. Here we have the GH5 in a cage with two handles on the sides and a small HD monitor up front. It's a great setup to shoot steady and ergonomically. Then we have the vlog type camera where you bend a gorilla pot in such a way that your camera sits vertical. And I would only recommend this with smaller cameras like this Sony A6500. Finally is your mobile phone, it already has a good grip in vertical mode, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. As far as apps goes, I can really recommend to get Filmic Pro. It's an app which gives you almost any control of a professional camera. You can take full manual control over your phone and even enjoy some better bit rates. Now when editing vertical video, it's also important that you are working in a vertical sequence. Don't just rotate your clip, because that will leave black edges on the side. When you are creating a new sequence inside Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to flip your width and height sides. So in this case, we'll be working with a 1080 by 1920 resolution. Then when you add your clips into the timeline, you can rotate them 90 degrees. Now let's talk about the creative ideas behind vertical video, because a lot of this is different and vertical video opens up a whole new dimension as well. Now what basically stays the same is the rule of thirds. You can keep framing people on the grid, which just has different proportions. Mainly your viewing space is a lot smaller and this will result in more compact shots. A medium shot will feel more like a close up as you focus a lot more on the subject. And this is actually really great as mobile phones have smaller screens, so you want to keep your details to the minimum. Then of course is the enormous height or depth that you're getting. And if you look around when filming, try to think about height and how you can let it be part of your scene. It could give space to trees, the sky, gates and doors, stairs or any other scenery that is big in height. You could also arrange your objects, change your camera position to make use of the vertical space or just leave it empty. A big open space of thoughts or great achievements. 
The creative ideas are endless and it is exciting to think different than we usually do. And it becomes even more exciting when you get creative with split screens, but also match your two videos with each other. And it's even possible to vlog vertical. How cool is that? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Videoblog for sponsoring us today. And if you like this, thumbs up. But most importantly, stay creative. Janik, I don't think this is how it works. I think we have to flip the camera, not yourself. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure about this.